Hey, this is Sam Black, back with another standard deck. Uh, this is um, really an attempt to maximize Invasion of Segovia, which is a card that I've uh, been really impressed with um, in Limited, and I've tried building a lot of different constructed decks around it. This is the first one that I'm showing. Um, and... Uh, yeah, so this is Blue-White Flash. Um, the only cards that I have to play on my turn are Wedding Announcement, Invasion of Segovia, Zephyr Singer, and Blue Sun's Twilight. And then the rest of this is Instance. Um, so I'm basically trying to make a lot of creatures and transform Invasion of Segovia. And then once I do that, I have uh, Cadus, Sea Tyrant of Segovia, which gives all of my non-creature spells Convoke. And at the beginning of my end step, I untap up to four creatures. And so uh, that lets me um, cast all of my non-creature spells just by tapping creatures and kind of uh, gives me a lot of extra mana to work with. So... Then I can cast large transcendent messages, and I have counter spells and uh, various, you know, flash threats and stuff like that. Um, I'm going wide, so I have wedding announcement as my anthem. Um, I have a single errant and giada that I'm trying out because it uh, lets me. It's a flash threat. I'm generally in the market for those, and it also lets me play resolute reinforcements, fairy mastermind. Um, the Wandering Emperor and Zephyr Singer from the top of my library, so has a decent number of hits. Um, this deck uh, uses Fairy Mastermind pretty well, um, and uh, Blue Sun's Twilight is really, really strong once you flip Invasion of Segovia, because then presumably you have creatures, and it's very easy to cast Blue Sun's Twilight for X's five or more steal their best creature, make a copy of it. And that's kind of my primary answer to creatures, uh, that and invasive threats and the wandering in. So that's the main deck. In the sideboard, I mostly just have a mix of things that I'm trying out. A couple of Surge of Salvations, largely just to see how I like it. Uh, Spell Pierce, Disdainful Stroke, just a couple extra counters for one more of that. Brutal Cathar is really good against creature decks when your deck is all instance, which mine is. A um, couple of Cathar Commandos is an, an additional flash card that I can play off Errant of Giada. That's another flash threat and also an enchantment. Uh, answer to artifacts and enchantments. Destroy evils. Uh, doing some of the same work as Cathar Commando, but also giving me uh, removal against large creatures. Twilights against creature decks. I can go up to more of those. And this last card that's kind of hidden is Invasion of New Phyrexia. <clears throat> um, I don't know if I'm supposed to be playing some, maybe even a large number of these main. I'm trying out other cards right now, and I just have one in my sideboard, kind of to remind me that it's an option, uh, see if I end up wanting to side it in a lot, and then I could uh, go to more copies. So, Sec is still very much in its experimental stages. Um, when I first tried it, I didn't have Zephyr Singer, and then... I uh, realized that, you know, if you have a start with, like, Resolute Reinforcements into either Invasion of Segovia or Exotic Pets, then you can play Zephyr Singer on turn three and make all of your creatures fly. Then you have, uh, you know, a flying army that's threatening to flip Invasion of Segovia, if that's the um, card that you uh, had on turn three. Um, so, good way to go wide and fast. And, um, so yeah, that's... That's what I'm going to be playing today. If I changed, it looks the way that I want it to right now. Um, let's buy some games here. Find map for ranked, three standard with stack. Okay, we have an opponent. Wonder Knight collected.
All right, so I have, as long as I draw a land, I have that turn three Zephyr Singer draw I was talking about, so hope that happens. take a bunch of damage here and if I draw a land I think I'm gonna be able to turn this around if I don't I'm probably just gonna die this is a very good start from the red deck all right we did it So now I have a large Vigilance Flying Blocker, and if they kill that, I still have four different creatures that can immediately flip Invasion of Segovia, and they'll all untap. All right. My opponent agrees. That was uh, good enough. Cool. Okay, so... Let's see, they have cheap creatures, which is an argument for Blue Sun. Um... Bog seems pretty, I mean, this does all the things. I assume it has to be pretty reasonable against Mono Red. Uh, I assume they have too much removal for Brutal Cathar. I don't think they have enough things for Destroy Evil. Cathar Command is, like, okay just to block, I guess. Might be better than Make Disappear. So I'm not excited about Make Disappear. I'm not excited about Transcendent Message. I want to be impacting the battlefield. Uh, so I guess I'll just bring in Commandos and more Blue Suns, and uh, let's try an Invasion of New Phyrexia. Could be Destroy Evil instead or whatever, but um, I feel like if I do this for like not very much, um, it should be pretty dominant. We've established that my nut draw is good enough to make mono red concede. How can we do with what might turn out to be a normal? All right, well, that was a little disappointing in terms of getting to play Magic, but let's try to find another match. Okay, this also needs to draw land, but I'm on the draw. I have a two drop and uh, good stuff. Go. Play a reasonable here. Interesting question about whether I want to try to flash this in and just trade. I don't think I do. Reason being that here I get to play Invasion and get two counters off of it. And that'll make it a lot easier to transform next turn.
Do they have a 3-3? Three, three? Okay, so I can sack one token to transform Invasion of Segovia, which is a great deal. Interested in that. So, question here is whether I want to use both make disappears or one make disappear. I don't want to let that happen. I think I just use both make disappears because I want to force them to, like, if I casualty, they simply don't pay. Um, whereas here, they have to spend the two mana and then I make disappear again. Now all of these fly. We go to my end step and I untap all of them. Now I have enough mana to transcend message for six. So I know that they have make disappear. So um I know that they temporarily have make disappear and they're about to leave. Next turn. For a while. I'm gonna flash in the Wandering Emperor, I guess. But then make disappear if they want. They'll have to sacrifice the Corpse Appraiser. I was going to just mess it on my turn, but now that I have another Zephyr Singer, I think I'm just going to attack them for six, play a Zephyr Singer. Um, so yeah, I do think I attack them. It costs me two cards potentially off the message, but I also want to get them killed. Oh, only one card. That was Vigilance.
Okay. Well, so let's see. Standard equation plus equation of Kaldheim. I don't know if they have things that make surge great. It certainly seems fine. What don't I like? I want some twilights or destroy evils because it's important to answer um Shieldred. Wandering Emperor doesn't seem amazing. This dies to down. They may or may not leave in. Sound great for me, although it does block Fable well. Except that they could just have an answer. Um. Really not sure. I don't want to just leave it. Cut one emperor for one surge. Maybe I'll draw it and see if I like it. Okay, I have the draw. Unless they have exactly spell pierce, I'm going to be in pretty amazing shape here. <laughs> All right. Well, that stops me from using the Zephyr Singer. Oh, and it gives them a thing to Corpse Brazer. Got it. Okay. So I can't flip Invasion this turn. So instead, I'm just going to gas up here. Um, I'm going to land. I, think I like getting Wedding Announcement down rather than Invasion. Feels pretty good. Big shield red. Okay. Still fly in and flip invasion. It's gonna take a bunch of damage.
so next turn, my stuff's all going to get big. But I also really need to preserve my life total because of field red. Oh, I should have blocked with another thing here because they have a mana up. They could have a removal spell for one of the things. Okay. Um, let's see. I don't want to flip this because it's a legend. So I just attack my opponent with everything. Everything. I want to be able to play... Zephyr Singer and hold up a Ganjo. So all but one thing. Can't do anything about that. I don't want a message for a bunch into Shieldred, so. There we go. Okay, so I guess I don't need to do this for five because copying shield doesn't do anything, so I'll just do it for four. I guess the, if I if I thought they had a bounce spell, I would want to copy it so that I could sack the original, but that's not a thing. Um, they're at 14, so I don't really need to attack this, right? I could hit them for 10 and get shield rid. Although, I was only putting them at two. I think I do want to flip this, because then my stuff's all tapped. Yeah, would be great. I could do it for five of this, but again, that doesn't matter. They technically should have crewed to give it to me tapped. Okay, so uh, I drew pretty well, but that certainly showed what the deck is trying to do. So um, yeah, I, I think this deck's pretty sweet. Uh, I still think it's somewhat untuned in terms of like, I think the creature base and the, uh, like, I really like the wedding announcement and the invasion of Segovia. I like the creatures. And then I, I'm pretty happy with counter spells and transcend messages and blue suns. But I think that what the right mix of kind of potentially expensive spells uh, between transcendent message, blue suns, and invasion of new Phyrexia, like how many of each of those to play, I think is a pretty difficult question. So I definitely think there's still tuning to be done with this deck. The sideboard's very arbitrary, but uh, yeah, I think there's some really cool stuff going on here, and hope you enjoyed it. Um, if you did uh, and you haven't seen it, yesterday I recorded a, a video about Rakdos uh, battles, and I have some others that I hope to get a chance to uh, put up in the next few days. So uh, thanks for watching, and bye for now.